A 16-year-old shows up at a door, a wife opens the door, and she shoots her in the face. What? So Amy's lawyers were trying to present her as this, you know, frightened high school senior who was manipulated by this older man, and yet every single day there was a new bombshell coming out. Investigators looking into a possible link between Fisher and a Baldwin escort service say she constantly wore a beeper, even in school. So one of the bombshells was that Amy had worked for an escort service. She always gave me money, whatever I needed, and I would say, how, how'd you get it? She goes, I'm an escort. I said, what's that? <laughs> and, you know, and she says, I go on dates with guys for, it's $100 an hour. So she said, money's no object. She didn't act like a 17-year-old. When a girl at that age becomes that promiscuous at 17, there's something wrong there. As if Amy Fisher's reputation couldn't get damaged and sullied anymore after everything that had been revealed, a 29-year-old salesman from Levittown calls a current affair, and he has a tape to sell. Welcome to a current affair for this. Current day affair would cover sex, murder, and really offbeat stuff. This ghost photographer never knows what will develop. So I was tabloid TV. I mean, that's what it was. Well, somebody on the news desk came to me and said, I just got a call from this guy who says he has a sex tape of Amy Fisher. Do we want to talk to him? I said, are you kidding? We sent a car for him. Get him in here. One of her clients had sex with Amy three times, he said, and on one of the occasions, he actually set up a hidden camera and taped his encounter with Amy. The tape was every bit what he said it was. You know, they were negotiating a price for sex, and then they turned the lights off, and they were having sex, and, you know, Amy was just saying all kinds of crazy things. We care of business, and we don't worry about business, and we take care of pleasure. I don't like to think about business and pleasure all at the same time. So we bought the tape for $8,000, I believe. It really sent everybody into overdrive. So I don't think anybody saw Amy as a poor little innocent. That knocked me for a loop. Even though she shot a young woman in the head, you still want to paint a sympathetic picture of her. The Fisher story, I would say it ranks with the Bobbitt story right up there, same kind of stuff. I mean, when you have sex and criminal activity, when it comes to the tabloid news world, you can't ask for anything more. Tabloid TV producer descended on Massapequa with limousines, bouquets of flowers, gift certificates, fistfuls of $50 bills. It was a nightmare. My mission was to try and stay away from the circus atmosphere that was surrounding the, the case, but that was a little difficult to do. People couldn't get enough of it. I mean, they were talking about it everywhere, from the diners on the South Shore to the yacht clubs on the North Shore. And you'd get on the train, and everybody had the daily news, Long Island Lolita. It was an obsession. As I'm trying to recover from this horrible, egregious injury that I had, what happens is this phenomenon starts to happen. It's not about me anymore. It's not about the person who got shot and assassinated on the front of her own home. It becomes about Joey and Amy. And it did. It took on a life of its own, because that's what the public was seeing. And that's what they wanted. And that's what the media wanted. Did I play into that? Yes, I did. Of course, I did. About three weeks after Mary Jo was shot, Howard Stern is talking about the case. And all of a sudden, he gets a phone call. And who is it? It's Joey Buttafuoco. There was a guest on. This guy is saying he's my pool man, and he would see Amy and me in the backyard all the time by the pool, having lunch and this and that, and I was like, you know what? I don't have a pool. You know, Howard's saying, come on, you know you were having an affair, and Joey's saying, no, absolutely not. Joe was adamant. He screamed from the rooftops. He had nothing to do with her sexually. Nothing, 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 nothing. To almost everyone else, it seems obvious that Joey was lying about his affair with Amy Fisher. But Mary Jo believed his denials, and no one really could understand why. I know I did go home and ask Joe a million times, did you have sex with her? Were you with he, and a million times he denied it, and a million times he swore to me on our children's lives. So I thought, he's got to be telling me the truth. I think if Mary Jo believed that Joey wasn't having an affair, then I think it was natural that she was going to support him. My job now was not to recover and try to get over this horrible injury. It was now to defend my husband. And I took that role on extremely well. I stand behind Joey 100%. Amy Fisher is a liar. I was defending my family. This, this person came to my house. 
interrupted my lovely life with my husband and my children and my home and everything. It's absolute hell on earth. Amy Fisher appeared on Inside Edition with Nancy Glass, and she made a stunning accusation. Joe told you to kill his wife? He told me just go up to the door, point a gun like this, and keep firing and walk away. I think we went to a great extent, and I think successfully, to paint Amy as a victim. We're investigating anything that he uh, might have had to do or, or responsibility for uh, the shooting of his wife. I kept maintaining quite forcefully that it wasn't Amy's idea. This was Joey's motivation. So Eric Nyberg was coming out and throwing everything against the wall, every single thing he could throw against the wall that would damage me and my credibility. And a 17-year-old girl took him up on it. Can you imagine that? She does all this for him. He leaves her hanging. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.